Gentle people, welcome. Today I have Maddie's 2013 Toyota Prius C and I'll be upgrading her stock halogen low beam with this aftermarket Kensun HID kit. This is the 55 watt 6000K. Hope you guys enjoy it. When I read the instructions, they were talking about how um, if you have daytime running lights, you might have to get a relay harness, but because the daytime running lights are the high beams and I'm just changing out the low beams, we shouldn't have a problem. So we have the daytime running lights, which is also the high beam. We have the low beam with the projector. We have the side light. So if you switch it from off to daytime running light, DRL, the left one goes on and see how dim it is. So it has lower voltage. You switch it up. That one is the side light. So now we have daytime running light at side light. We'll switch it up to low beam. And then the daytime running light turns off, but the low beam turns on and the side light stays on. And uh, yeah, that's on. And then when you push forward, it goes the high beam now all three are on. I'm going to change just one so that we could have a comparison between the stock halogen versus these HIDs. Alright, I'm going to start with the passenger side. Remember the inside bulb is the high beam and daytime running light. The outside one on the car is low beam. So high beam's right here, it's really easy to reach. The low beam is way in there, right there. If I can show you a perspective, there's the high beam, low beam is right there. And all you do is rotate it. Um, if you're facing forward, it's counterclockwise. So let me just do that real quick. Just reach in there, rotate the bulb, and pull it out. That's what the stock halogen looks like. And you just push down on this latch to unhook it. Do that with one hand. Yeah, there we go. And there you go. That's the stock one. And here's the HID replacement. I'm wearing gloves so I don't get any oil on the bulb because that would ruin it. And you just reverse the process. Uh, let's see. I'm really lucky that this car is really easy to install because you don't need to drill into any dust cap, that's what this is for. Um, but basically, uh, it's made so that you could keep everything inside the housing. And this is what it looks like after hooking everything together. You have the power supply by the car, right here. That plugged into the halogen initially. But now it goes to this, this pair of wiring, down to the ballast, and then it plugs back into here, which supplies power into the bulb itself. So passenger side has been replaced by the HID. Driver side still has the stock halogen. And I'm gonna stand in front of each of them to show you from about, I don't know, maybe 25 feet away. So if I stand in front of the driver's side, and block the driver's side. There's the HID. And if I block the HID, there's the stock halogen. I'll do it again. It's a little bit brighter. HID, HID, meet halogen. Make sure you run it for 10 minutes at least the first time. That's what it says in the manual. So these are the two zip ties holding the ballast underneath. See it right here. The wires right there. Where else? Right here, and that's it. I did the same thing to the right side. 
same points, all zip tied away. Although I should have probably tested the driver's side to make sure it works before I zip tied it. Maybe I'll show you the first 10 minutes of this guy lighting up for the first time, if it lights up, compared to one that's already burnt in. All right guys, moment of truth. Great, daytime running lights still work. Oh no! Shit. Okay, so I switched the polarity. Um, let's try this again. That's the daytime running lights. Oh god. Oh yes! Okay, so it was polarity. Whew! Actually... The one that's burning in seems a little bit brighter. Okay, so I gave it about 10 minutes to burn in. And then I shut off the car for about an hour to let it rest. Burned it in again for another 10 minutes. And now it looks, it looks really good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.